Hello guys, PT here. Welcome back to more Ghost Hunter. Okay, so we are in the prison level. There is a document here. Let me pick it up. I am not doing so good when it comes to health. Alright. So, yeah, we are in the prison level. This is going to be one of those levels that I am not sure if I'm going to remember everything that we have to do in this level. But I am going to try my best. Now the thing that's worrying me the most so far is my health. I am not doing so good when it comes to that. So, see my weapons here really quick. Let's equip that. See if I still remember the controls because it's been a while since I last recorded the last session. Ooh, is that a revenant? Yes, it is. So revenant over there. And it saw me. I also think there's gonna be a few- yeah, there's gonna be a few snipers here, I think. So we're gonna have to be extra careful. Where is it? It fucking disappeared! Oh, there it is! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See, see, see what I mean? Snipers. I wanted to see if I could capture that revenant, though. I don't want to get attacked by it when I'm trying to do this. Yes! Done. Okay. We'll try to do it here now. Yes. Hello. How you doing, mister? So in this level, uh, we're gonna basically face the strongest boss in the game. I kid you not, it's even stronger than the last boss fight, so... Can I capture these guys? Yes, I can! There's another one over there. Can't reach it. Let's just... weaken him. Okay, out of ammo. That is bad. That is really, really bad. There we go. Okay, we do have some ghost energy over here. Which is ammo, so... Let me see. The thing with these guns, like I said before, is that you can't manually reload, so... Okay, now which way am I supposed to go? Over there, maybe? I'm gonna have to explore every single part of this island, because I really don't remember where to go. Another thing is, uh, I think that actually this uh, prison island, this thing, was actually um, made after... I heard a strange noise. I think it was made after um, Alcatraz prison. It's kind of an homage to it, I guess. Is there anything? No, there's not. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, but even though I don't remember a lot of things about this level... So, I can now confirm there simply was no escape. Yes, that's right, get that in your headline. No escape. The prisoner tried his luck, but as I've said a hundred times, it can't be done. The only way those boys will get off this island is in a box. Holbrook went into the furnace, and that's as far as he got. Burnt to a crisp. No doubt about it. Uh, can you prove that, Warden? Hell no. There's enough ashes in there, you'd be sitting forever and never find a thing. But that's where he is. Good riddance, I say, because that was his choice. Uh, is it true you clamped down on all the prisoners, Warden? 
make your regime even harsher? Uh, are you still in control in there? You better believe it. Well, none of those boys were sentenced to a picnic now, were they? They've done what they've done, and your readers can rely on me to make them pay. That's what my institution is all about. Now, if you'll please... What would you say to our readers who, frankly, may not be convinced by your explanation, Warden? Many will surely assume that you failed, that Stevie Holbrook has got the better of you, and that he's out there at large. That will be your last ever question, Mr. Sonny. What I say to your readers is this. It can't be done. I mean, even if you did get to the water when you didn't, you'd either be drowned or sharked. No one has ever escaped and lived to tell the tale. The day someone does will be the day I die. All right, so apparently the warden is basically saying that it's it's impossible for you to escape this prison, and that's not entirely true. Okay, let's see. Um, not that way. Oh crap! There we go. They're not very strong ghosts, but uh, like I said in the last episode, yes. and as you guys can see, oh, we have a new ability. But as you guys can see, we are fighting new types of ghosts as well. Um, now I'm gonna go over here because I think there's a new gun over there. We're gonna need. It's a nice gun, but he it has a catch. I will explain it to you guys in just a minute. Oh, 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 there's another- Ooh! Don't do that. Oh my god. Come on! I'm running. I am running. This is not a good idea. It's definitely not a good idea. I didn't think there was going to be so many ghosts in here. Come on. We're going to deal with that freaking clown now. Die. There we go. I think now it's time for us to go. Let me just check over here. See if I'm not missing anything. Any orbs. Because again... Ooh, there's one in the, over there. Can I, uh... Some health! Yes! Thank you! I really needed that, so... Okay, is there anything else on this side? Mm, no, I don't think so. Ooh, there's more health in here! Which I am not gonna need, because I'm at 100%. Um, but just in case, let me see... No, no ammo nor anything. So over here, there's a new gun, new weapon, and it is called the Spectral Lasso. Okay, so what this does is basically you point, you hold down the button to shoot, and what it does is it drains the energy out of the ghosts. So it's really, really, a really, really powerful weapon, but it does have a catch. It drains all the energy from your other guns. So yeah, that's not a good thing. But this weapon is super powerful. And uh, it can make you... It, it will make you be able to uh, capture the ghosts way faster than you already do with the other guns. So, that's a good thing. But the catch, which, you know, the gun will drain all the energy you have in the other weapons. That is not so good, but, you know... You can't really expect everything good in games. You know, you always have to expect a little catch. Um, let me see, do we have to go through here? I think we do. Okay, so... What I'm gonna try to do is show you this gun. Show what we can do with it and stuff like that. I completely forgot that we can't aim and shoot at the same time. Okay, so take care of that guard first because if you don't, 
that if you don't kill it, if you don't capture it, that guard will set free all the revenants in this place. There's a bunch of them. They will just gang up on you. Um, now, I would tell you to just run through them, but I'm not sure that once you're doing that, that these guys won't set free. So what I'm going to do... I'm not sure if this is reaching them. Um... go. What I'm gonna try to do is just use the normal guns. Um, come on. Okay, I think we have to go this way. As you guys can see, yeah, there's quite a few uh, revenants in here. I'm gonna go over here to the steps so I can actually aim. And what I'm going to do is that the, the Spectral Lasso is a pretty good gun for you to use against the boss in this level. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, I'm going to try to save every little bit of ammo I have for that gun. Every little bit of energy that I have for that gun. Because I am going to need it for the last uh, fight in this level. So, Which happens to be the most powerful boss in the entire game. I'm not sure if it's this way or if it's that way. No, it's not that way, I don't think. Try going here, maybe. Yeah, we'll go a little bit faster. Is there any more? I guess we have to go up there. Come on, Lazarus. There we go. For me, to be honest with you guys, this is one of the best levels in the entire game. Um, it's really, really creepy, as you guys can see. And uh, I don't know. I just, I just really like it. But you guys will understand more of what I'm talking about uh, once we get, you know, further into this uh, level. And all the creepy stuff happening. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save real fast. Here we go. Do I need this? No. 100%. Alrighty, uh, we have a guy over there. Don't shoot at me. Now one one good thing about these ghosts is as you guys can see they're not very smart. So I think we have to go down here. And there should be a ladder here somewhere. I think there is a ladder here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but. Yes, there is. No. Get away from me. Don't you even there. You know what you're trying to do? Yes. I'll go through here. Will this open? Yes, it will. Is there any more ghosts in this area? There's one over there. Come here. Yes! I'm thinking that we have to go that way. We're gonna have a astral puzzle right now. I can still hear a ghost, I think, though. Oh. Yes! There's a ghost over here. Can I aim in here? Not sure. Yes, I can. Okay, good. I didn't notice this ghost before. You don't have to avoid the barrels, by the way, or the boxes. They're not gonna hurt you. 
funny thing is, I think they actually give you the option to shoot them. Let me see. No, they don't. Okay, do they give you the... No, they don't. Alright, I thought they gave you the option to actually shoot them, but it wouldn't do anything. Um, okay, here it is. Astral Puzzle. Alright, what is this? Mm. Alright. Let someone ask for it. Alright, it's a good thing that we have our uh, energy all the way up. So we're gonna need it for this next part. Let's see, where do I go? We came from there, right? No, no we didn't. Did we? I am not sure, guys. No, we have to go up. I remember now. Alright. Should be a ghost here somewhere, yeah, over there. It's a ghost over here. Now, what we need to do, we can easily just use a vision. What we have to do is basically move these things. You guys will see. I can't really explain it too well, so I'm just gonna let you guys see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the poltergeist ability. I have to do the same with this one. I think I do have to do this. We basically have to break the tracks. And you guys will understand why in a minute. Okay, I think I did what I needed to do with that. Um, over there. And I would recommend you, every time you're done with one set of tracks, I would recommend you to go back to Astral instead of having your power activated all the time because it will run out smash there we go is there any more? yeah it's a good idea to use uh, Astral's vision there's another one over here Okay, there's another switch over here that we need to move. And then once this is all done, I think that you have to possess the ghost up there. And um, make him do something, I don't remember what though. I think this should be the last one. Over there. Let me see if I go over here if it does anything. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. go. Anything else? The one thing that would you would help me a lot more with the astral power is if things stopped um, glowing once you're done with them. You know what I mean? Okay, now I think... I think you do have to possess the guy over here.
Let's see if this works. He did. We did it right, guys. Okay, let's go back to Lazarus. And now we should be able to use that to lift ourselves up. Be able to climb that. Well, there's a ghost here. I'll take care of you before you decide to smack me with that. That is really so not the noise that a gate like that would make while opening. Okay, we have another checkpoint. I think I'm gonna use it actually. Lazarus, move! Oh! I have to be careful here. Ah. Oh shit! Go! Ah. Alright, um, is there anything here? No? this side. This is really dark, no? I bet there's a ghost up here, I can hear it. And we are inside of the prison, guys. And yes, there is a guard over there. And another one over there. Jesus, man, come on. Thank you. You're next. There we go. Oh, there's another one? Oh, on this side, right? Yeah. There's another one on that side. Damn it. Come on. There we go, finally. Well, how do I get up there? Can't go through here. 